curry. Yes, vegetable curry and pancakes with fruit for dessert. Ella says he's a fruitarian. Fruitarian? It's like a vegetarian, I think, but he eats more fruit. They're here. It's vegetable curry with mushrooms, carrots and cream. Cream? Yes. But, Mum, Stuart only eats fruit, vegetables and nuts. He doesn't eat eggs or milk. He doesn't eat anything with cream. Oh, and the pancakes? Are they with eggs? Yes. Oh, dear. Yes, they're with eggs and milk. Don't worry, honey. We can think of something. We can make a salad for Stuart. Are there any vegetables in the fridge? Um, let me check. There aren't many. There are a lot of potatoes. A whole bag of potatoes. Stuart doesn't really like potatoes. OK. I think there are some tomatoes. How many tomatoes are there? Stuart loves tomatoes. There's one tomato. Actually, a half of it. And some carrots. Two carrots. Small ones. That's not many. OK. Are there any bananas or strawberries? I'm afraid they're all in the pancakes. I'm sorry. I think there are some nuts in the cupboard. Yes, there's a packet of nuts. And some orange juice. That's great. You eat nuts, don't you? Yes. Stuart, don't eat them. Dad, look at the date. It's 2008. They're really old. You know what? There's a nice veggie restaurant just round the corner. I think they might have something for fruitarians as well. Why don't we go there? Hello again. Today, we will look at countable and uncountable nouns, and words and phrases to refer to an amount or a number. Countable nouns name things you can count. They have singular and plural form. And you can use them with numbers or the article a or an. A strawberry. Five strawberries. An apple. Two apples. Uncountable nouns don't have plural forms and you don't use numbers with them because normally you can't count them. Salt, sugar, water, Milk, cheese and meat are uncountable nouns. Abstract nouns, for example, love, happiness, are also uncountable. You may be surprised that some nouns are uncountable, for example, money or furniture. How is it possible if we can count money? We count pounds, pesos, euros and reals. You can say, I need three pounds. But you can't say, I need three money. With uncountable nouns, you use singular verb forms. Where is my money? We use some and any both with countable and uncountable nouns. We use some in affirmative sentences and any in negative sentences and in questions. There is some orange juice in the fridge. There are some nuts in the cupboard. There isn't any orange juice in the fridge. There aren't any nuts in the cupboard. Is there any orange juice in the fridge? Are there any nuts in the cupboard? To ask about an amount or number, use how many with countable nouns and how much with uncountable nouns. You can use a lot of with both countable and uncountable nouns. To say that there isn't a lot of something, we use not many with countable nouns and not much with uncountable nouns. How many tomatoes are there? 
There aren't many tomatoes. Not many. There are a lot of tomatoes. A lot. How much cheese is there? There isn't much cheese. Not much. There is a lot of cheese. A lot. That's all for today. Thank you.